So many people, I'm sure, listening are familiar with South Sudan and to a little village uh, in northern Bargazal, right on the border between Sudan and South Sudan. We were working with a group of women in what we call WPTs, or Women's Protection Teams, which are local South Sudanese women. And they had set up within their community a series of, of safe houses. So in an, in an effort to address situations of sexual and gender-based violence, without any service providers very close by, they realized that one of the things they needed to do was to be able to move to safer locations and then they also needed a process on how they, they were going to deal with perpetrators and survivors and so on and so forth. Well, I was listening to Mary and, and, and um, the women's protection team tell their story, I noticed around the edge of the circle there was a gentleman and his name is John. He's a local police officer and when we first started working there he'd been very skeptical. What can women do? What can women do for women protection, protecting themselves? And he said, I need to tell you something. And I said, what? He said, you know I didn't, didn't believe that this was possible. Uh, and, that they, and he said, you know what's happening? And he said, normally all these disputes would go to the local chief's court and the chief's court would organize and they would, they would arbitrate what was happening and they would come up with some sort of, some sort of decision. Uh, somebody would make a payment and that would be considered justice. And he says, now what happens is when people bring their problems to the local chief, chief's court, the chiefs now say, we can deal with your problem here and we'll do the, what you know what we're gonna do. Or if you wanna actually solve the problem, you wanna solve the conflict you're having, we would really recommend that you go see the women. This was really moving. And when we think about communities doing self-protection and what can we learn from that? Do we have to park our own ideas of what success is, where from different parts of the world, what does justice mean in those situations? It's really important that that is not what, is what we're imposing on local communities. They were making those choices for themselves and that we make space for it and we have the patience for it and the encouragement for it and that we use our presence and our solidarity and provide accompaniment for when things get difficult and stay in a secondary role for those local protection strategies.